Take a little video of Atom walking here. Walking. Today's we're going to Elk Island National Park. It's a national park in Alberta, Canada. It played an important part in the conservation of the plain bison. The park is administered by the Parks Canada. This island of conservation is at 35 kilometer east of Edmonton along the Yellowhead Highway, which goes through the park. And it is located at 54401 Range Road, 203 Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. To enter the Elk Island National Park, you have to pay the admission fee. So for the daily fee, adult is $9. For senior, $7.75. For youth, it's free. For family and group, it's $17.50. And for commercial group per person, it's $7.65. For us, we always get the annual pass because you can use this pass to all the parks Canada so it's worth it rather than getting the daily pass. So the annual pass for the family group is $151 but it is worth it compared to just getting uh, a daily pass. So, so to be exact, it is 151.25 for the Parks Canada Discovery Pass, which is an annual. The activities and experiences that you will um, experience in Elk Island, you can do camping, wildlife safety, which is uh, because they have a lot of bison. So for this visit, we just went to look for bison which we were able to see at the bison loop so we did the wildlife watching and you can do also the hiking they have also tours and programs and there are also snowshoe and stargaze and you can also w winter season as like what we tried we went walking in the frozen lake of astatin lake and the Astrotin Lake is also a great place to watch the Northern Lights and this place is really good because it's near to the toilets and near to the RV and tent tenting and to the group tenting as well. This place as well is a good place to have a day picnic and enjoy the sunrise or the sunset. As for this visit, we keep driving along just to see if we will be able to see some bison in the road but unfortunately with all the driving we're not able to see it just passing through the road so going back on the way back we will be uh, parking our vehicle and walk to the bison loop because during this winter it's not allowed to go through the bison loop for safety because it could be very slippery so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned if you have not subscribed to our channel yet please don't forget to like subscribe and comment thank you so in details the things that you can do all activities that you can do in elk island is you can do backcountry camping bison traffic jam cross-country skiing geo catching ice skating photography and enjoy watching the sunset and sunrise using the red chairs snowshoeing winter adventures animal watching they have camping cycling golf kayaking picnicking sailboating bird watching canoeing dog walking and use during they have also the authentic that you can rent for camping they have playground and just do the scenic driving they have theater windsurfing and you can also become a volunteer so this place is 
really much to offer and we highly recommend of visiting this park. A little video of Atom walking here. Walking. in tenting camping ground. Winters. Okay, thank you. So this is now the tenting area. Winter season. That's where you put your things and for the firewood. <clears throat> so, how many tenting sites? You have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven tenting site, and then eight there, and that's the house for the tenting or electricity or cooking that you need. Emergency shelter. This is. For the water, the garbage. Oh, really? See some look like the so they're still here.
na kaming magtingin ng follow. Pabalik na kami sa aming sasakyan.